What's up guys, um, haven't had a mail day video for a while, so I figured I'd throw one up <clears throat> since I got a couple packages this week uh, getting ready for the NBA season um, and grabbed uh, some good cards. So here we go, uh, so a little show here. First, uh, Gary Neal, I think he is going to be um, a nice uh, uh, point player, Get uh, should average like a, a double digit points next uh next season so let's see how he does uh, grab one of his national treasure rookie auto patch I think I have uh, another one at least uh, this one is number 13 out of 25 I have the number 14 out of 25 which is his jersey number so it's a nice one to add to my collection and nice breaks uh, yeah so a good amount of breaks three colors can't ask for more and then I got some nice Blake Griffin cards as you know I am a big Clippers fan uh, living in LA and uh, grab a couple of his because I think it's still pretty affordable right now. Uh, so if you haven't started your uh, Blake Griffin shopping yet, you probably should start now before uh, he starts blowing up again. Uh, and everyone start remembering how good he is. Uh, so here we go. Uh, a couple of threats. These are on threat auto. Obviously manufactured threat, but still pretty nice. So got the F, got the G, got the N. So I have, what, like... Almost 50% of his uh, letter, so maybe I'll put his name together if I do get the chance to. And then we got uh, some National Treasure cards, Colossal Jersey from his rookie year. This one's number actually pretty short printed, number 20 out of 25. Oops, okay. Isn't hardcover, no problem. And then we have a National Treasure Timeline. This is a nice three color patch. You can see one, two, three colors. And actually got some breaks going on over there too. And this one is number 2 out of 25. And then one of these uh, Pen Pals. Great giant autograph on card uh, from National Treasure as well. Number 14 out of 50. Uh, Blake Griffin. And then last but not least, an uh, autograph jersey of Timeline. This one is just the autographed jersey version, not the patch. Um, but it's still pretty short printed, number 13 out of 30. Really good condition too, so I might send it in for BGS grading. Probably get a 9.5, at least a 9. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the mail day. Hope you guys liked it, and I cannot wait until the season starts. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and for the Fantasy League, if you haven't checked back, uh, lately, uh, the Fantasy League is completely full. We have a $50 league, so it should be pretty exciting. But um, we ha we are trying to figure out the live draft time, so if you have not uh, figured that out uh, or haven't checked in the league uh, recently, please go do that so that you know exactly when the draft time is. And then also you could tell us if the draft time is good for you. If it's not, we'll try to figure out something that's good for everyone. But again, I guess it's kind of hard to get 12... Uh, 12 people together in one time uh, to do a live draft. So if we, re if we really can't get it to work, then someone will have to um, just kind of preset theirs. Um, but I'm trying very hard so that everyone could show up for the live draft um, so that we could have a competitive season. All right, that's it for now. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll probably have some group break coming up. I know I haven't had one for a while. But I still have National Treasure Basketball sitting around. Um, and then I do have some other cheaper boxes coming in. So I'll probably have like a $20 group break or something very soon. Uh, but I am in the middle of finals, in case you guys didn't know, doing my graduate school study. So I probably won't be doing anything until this, after the 16th. So uh, it's about two weeks from now. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Peace.